to defend yourselves at all times, all right? First goal. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Early stage of this fight could be so important. Warrington, surely, his plan has got to be to not allow Lee Selby to get into any sort of rhythm. Selby, technically, I think by common consensus, may be the better boxer. Warrington, super fit, super committed, and how will he feed off this crowd? Well, he has to start fast, and he has to smother the work, as, as Richie was saying earlier, of Selby. But it has to be intelligent. You can't just run forwards because that's just bread and butter for Lee Selby. So that's been behind the jab, angles, plenty of face like he's doing here now, and then jump on Selby. Every time he makes it a half a mistake, Warren's going to make him pay for it. Selby, you see, clearly the taller man with the reach advantage. Official stats we were giving five foot eight. So I'll tell you what, he's a big five foot eight. <laughs> Good body shot from Warrington. And a left hook as well there from Josh. Switch the attack to the head. Fast start from Warrington. Trying to bully Selby back onto the ropes. Michael Alexander, referee, could be an important man tonight. Warrington, who grew up on the Rookway Estates, here in Leeds, Lee Selby from Barry, which is a tough place itself, Barry. It's a beautiful place to be. John was also beaten you know, though Barry Town would be a tough place to grow up, yeah, if you're in the wrong areas. Interesting opening round so far, both getting a feel of the strength of each other. Good left hand in there from Selby, but Warrington replies with one of his own. And it gets rough inside. Yeah, it was good from Selby. I think the better left will probably come from Josh Warren that little exchange there, John. Selby's flicking the jab, and that's the right idea. Just can't really establish a rhythm with the, with the shot yet. Selby trying to keep a close defense. Uh, Warrington trying to keep a tight defense. And when the opportunity arises, he leaps in. What, what Warren is doing quite well is when they're close, he knows Selby likes to hold on, and he holds on low. So he's throwing that right hand over the top, Warrington. A little protest to the referee from Selby about some of the working close from Warrington. It's better from Selby, though. Nice little double jab right hand. Trying to push Warrington back. Warrington missing with that right hand over the top. And again, and a slightly untidy looking maul. Good there, doubling up with the left hook there from Warrington. He's had a good opening round here, Barry. He's done what he needed to do, he's made a fast start. And he's, and he's getting inside the long reach of Selby, so Selby just can't get any counters in, could have just, the punch is just going over the head of Warrington. No panic signs for anyone at the minute, John, obviously neither, neither for, for Selby, but I think Warrington's having a better start. Well, no, no cause to panic for the Welsh supporters, of course. A long way to go in this, and Selby has got it in him to turn it around, but that was a really good opening round for Josh Warrington. It's the action from the opening round, and it was a good opening round for Josh Warrington. And I think you've given him that one, haven't you, Barry? Yeah, most definitely. I think you know he landed with the, with the telling punches in that round. So you see through a lovely left hook. Selby stands a little bit tall in, 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 in range. And one of them just whipped that left hook over the top. Warrington and his father, Sean O'Hagan, have started studied long and hard the action of Lee Selby in his big fights.
notably in his last fight when he was at ringside, and he said that he spotted how easy he was to hit with the left hook, and it's been the left hook in yeah. the first three minutes which served Warrington really well. Well, so we do, you see, so we do stand a little bit upright when they're close, and that's obviously what what Warrington's worked on. Good jab there from Selby, though. That's what he needs to establish is that solid jab. Stop Warrington when Warrington tries to come forward. You make him pay with that jab. That's what Selby's looking to do. Warrington keeping a tight defence, it's educated pressure, he's not just bulldozing forward, which Selby said would play into his hands. Selby having to work for his openings, he's not really found too much clean so far. Trolls getting a little bit excited, the right arm, good right hand there though. And again there. And again, and he pushes Warrington, pushes Selby back, Warrington has cut. He's cut, was it heads that did it? He's cut over the left eye, Lee Selby. And also those heads on the right hand there, John. Warrington is going after him now, and the crowd respond. They can see blood on the face of Lee Selby. It's going to be fascinating to see exactly what caused that. Oh, good shot from Warrington. Left hand under right hand to the head of Selby. Warrington inspired right now, but back comes Selby, trying to steady himself, trying to gain composure, but he's being out-jabbed. Well, it's just the tactics are spot on here from Warrington, he's given a nice tight defence, and he's not throwing until Selby starts throwing, then he lets his hands go. And he's coming forward, but he's, he's, he's jumping into attack, but he's not rushing forward in straight lines. Good left hook to the body there from Selby, though. He needs a lot of them, though, doesn't he? He's not really commanded the respect so far of Warrington. There's another right into the body from Selby. What a terrific opening to this fight. 12-rounder, of course, world title distance. Long way to go, and they've got to work on that cut. How bad is that going to be if the fight goes down the stretch? You just see, just see there that's the, the fact that Selby didn't let his hands go because he knows Warrington's going to jump into attacks. So again with the right hand there, Warrington. Have to find out whether or not the referee deems that that was caused by a punch or by a clash of heads. If it's a clash of heads, then it could go to the scorecards or it could wind up being a no contest. But, oh, good shot, oh. Warrington! And, and again, right hand, left hand, and Selby in trouble there. His legs, I think, momentarily stiffened. What a great round that for Josh Warrington once more. Tremendous work from the Leeds favourite. If he didn't believe before, he most certainly does now. It's just an awe inspiring display here for Warrington. The tactics are spot on. He's hurt himself with his shots, and that cuts put him under tremendous pressure. You see, and it's going to be a clash on the left hook. Oh, there he goes, a clash of heads there. Accidental clash of heads, referee indicating that. Look at this from Warrington, just when he's in that three-quarter range on up close, he's working away when Selby's trying to hold, and that's the difference so far in this contest. But it has to go four rounds. If the fight stopped on the cut thereafter, it would go to the cards. And on the cards, surely Josh Warrington, after two rounds, is two up. Confirmed by the IBF organiser at ringside that it is indeed a cut caused by an accidental clash of heads. What a start to the fight. And what a dream start for Josh Warrington. And to be honest, John, the fact that he hasn't rushed, he hasn't been going flat out here, Warrington, he's been still, to his credit, been quite controlled in his work. So he hasn't been going blazing and running out of steam to get, to get that's good from Selby, though. That's what he got a box at this range. They seem to have done a good job on that cut, at least for the time being. A smear of grease, adrenaline added to it as well to staunch the flow of blood. And Selby needs to compose himself, he needs to get into a rhythm. Two rounds down on our cards and surely two rounds down on the judges' cards as well. But he started this round better. He's taking the centre ring, pushing, trying to push one in the back with a jab. And Wallen's looking to do what he did in the first couple of rounds. Covered up, 
This is Glanton right really there. Straight right, right hand in there for well, Warrington. That's a good shot though there from Warrington. Selby's going back in straight lines. I don't cancel, he's not pivoting off the front foot. Not giving Warrington enough angles. Selby at the weigh-in yesterday looked very, very tight. Good shot again from Warrington, right hand. If it goes the distance, will Warrington be the stronger in the closing rounds? That could be a factor as the blood again pours oh. down the left-hand side of the face of Lee Selby. But a good right hand and a left uppercut there from Selby. Good round this for the Welshman so far. And again, a good left hook. Bit of elbow going in from Selby. What are you got to do, Selby? When he throws his punches in close, you've got to remember to roll out. Standing up straight and stepping back, that's where Warren is having success. Won the title back in May 2015, Lee Selby, and he won it on a technical decision against Evgeny Gradovich. Is there going to be an irony there? <laughs> oh, good right hand again there from Selby. After a great start, Warren didn't, there was no pressure yet, but he's just struggling up with the final range like he did in the first two rounds. Been a much, much better round from Selby, who's settled to his work and settled to it well. Lovely sneak right hand there from Selby. The noise continues from the Leeds faithful, but the small number of Welsh fans who've made their way up and I'm sure the thousands and thousands watching with us on BT across Wales will now believe their man is doing a little bit better here. And they'll believe that he can perhaps start to impose himself. Bell goes a wee bit early for us there, but that has to be a Selby round. Boxing, not hitting this. Concentrate on making him miss. When you make him miss, he falls short and you nail him. Almost there, Chris. Tony Borg and Chris Sanagar working away on those cuts. Smear of grease over the right eye as well. Referee might ask for some of that to be shipped if he is doing. They'll want that wiped away. Oh dear, dear, that was a bit of a bit of a full-on piece of corner work from Chris Sanagar. They haven't stemmed the flow of blood, John. That's, the, that's going to be a problem, maybe, for Selby. If it starts going into the eye. The last thing you want to be is heavy-handed when you're dealing with something yeah. like that. Selby taking that round, Barry. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I think he got his box together well, and one of them just couldn't establish what he did earlier, those jumping in with the attacks. This is better from Selby. He's starting to get into a rhythm. It's all important establishing the jab when you're the taller fighter, and that's what Selby did in that last round. And one of the only to do what he did in the first two and take the play right away from him again. I'm sure there was a shock factor when he wound up cut, but he's settled down and he's composed himself, okay. and that's a good left hand from Selby. Oh, good right hand there, double right hand there from Warrington. He's a real box of tricks tonight, Josh Warrington. Terrier of a fighter. Again, the chance of the Leeds faithful go up for their man. Sneaky right hand there from, from Selby, but just held his feet and had to take another one off Warrington. One around the back of the head, says Selby. Referee said nothing about it, though. Nice little uppercut on the move there as well from Selby. To that high intensity start, Warrington has just 
slowed a little in terms of work rate, waiting for his openings, but that's a good left-hand lead from Warrington. This is just a little bit of a good body shot there, and again there from Warrington. Oh, a good left hook as well. Well, if he has struggled to make the weight, as he generally does, Lee Selby, those body shots are the sort of shots which could take a toll. Good work from Selby, nice right hand of his own. And then backwards, Warrington, and again a complaint about a punch around the back of the head from Selby. With justification, maybe? Yeah, well, they looked all right, that one looked all right. The one earlier was maybe a little, was a little bit dodgy. Neither of these guys are real big one-punch concussive punches, but that was a close round. I wonder how it would be scored. You've got to concentrate on missing the shots. All right? You keep you keep missing and staying in there. Come on. Wipe his nose, bro. The best body puncher I know. Let's see it. Left on the net. Nail him. Four rounds gone, and that was a really tight one. Both guys having a measure of success. Yeah, and I think I think Selby did most of the work in the round, but then the last last sort of 30 seconds, the better punches were from Warrington. So I, on that basis, I couldn't really split him, John. Fifth round, Barry's got Lee, uh, Lee Selby, the champion, one round behind Josh Warrington, the massive Leeds favourite. Selby again trying to establish the jab, trying to work from range as Warrington keeps that tight guard. I tell you something, all, all this, you've got to go forward, you've got to smother the work of Selby. Well, he's been doing quite well not doing that at the moment. No. Nope. And that's a, that is a surprise. He's been waiting for Selby, making him miss and then trying to counter. Now he comes forward and produces the attack. Good shot from Selby, left hand, and a solid jab. Well, for the most part, Selby's going back in straight lines, so Warren can just keep throwing punches and, and piling forward. Which he'll happily do right the way through. Selby has been 12-round distance on eight occasions. Josh Warrington's done it five times. Good jab there from Mars, better though from Warrington. He just doesn't give up on the combination, Josh Warrington. Selby loves the country life. He breeds lurchers and terriers and ferrets. He needs that sort of fighting, that sort of fighting spirit here. Well, luckily for Selby, that eye, that blood's not going into the eye. It's just, it's, look, it's just rolling on the face, so he's not really affecting him too much. Well, there's a. A lot of blood around, oh, that's a shot. great right hand from Selby. Warrington takes it well, may have been his best punch so far, and Warrington said something, as much as to say, is that all you've got? Oh, good shot, Warrington, left hand. Selby again felt the weight of that. Well, he stays nice and low, Warrington, and when Selby just keeps his hands by his chest, too close to the target, Warrington's getting through, so when Selby lands with a good shot, he takes one back and sort of takes, spoils all the good work that he does. Nip oh, and nice. tuck this fight, and you suspect that it's going to swing this way and that. That's another really good, solid right hand from Warrington. Good tack this from Warrington. He's keeping those hands up high, just tight, trying to time the attacks of Selby and punching right down the centre of the guard. Well, those who said that he was going to be totally outboxed, Josh Warrington, already they've been proved wrong here. Good left hook there from Selby, and again the one two. Good work again from Selby. Trying to stay light on his feet, trying to keep mobile. It's good from Warrington, right hand, double left hook. What a good round, what a very good round, and Warrington might have taken it. 
worked hard there, Warrington. Selby had some quality shots, but just got the impression Warrington might have done enough. For me, the, John, I thought the, the quality of work was, was stronger. The, 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 I think the punches were cleaner off, off Warrington. And uh, he's the one pushing forward. The Selby just just holding his feet too close in target. Every time he, he throws a shot, one of them blocks and he comes straight down the centre of the guard. The tactics are spot on so far from Josh Warrington. And Selby's not panic stations yet for Selby. But I think he thought he would be the superior boxer like, like a lot of us did and it's not turned out to be that way right now. Great overhead shot of the stadium. And gives you a sense of the mass of supporters on that stand away to the left of our commentary position. Upwards of 20,000 people in here tonight. Good opening shot from Selby, right hand curled around the guard. As his corner must have told him and must be letting him know that at the moment Warrington is right in the fight and may well have done enough so far to be ahead. Certainly that's the way we see it. Yeah, again, good right hand from Selby, but just uh, doesn't move his feet and, get, and gets caught again by Warrington, and again Warrington pushing forward. Carl Frampton sitting right behind us, watching this one with interest, and he will be paying greater attention to this perhaps than anybody, because the winner of this is likely to be facing him at Windsor Park, but Selby cuts, and if Selby were to emerge victorious... Oh, oh. shot from Warrington, left hand and right hand, landed flush on the head of Selby. Selby took it well, mind, then that took a couple of body shots as well there from Warrington. This is where Warrington wants to be, this is where he loves to be. What I was about to say is that with that Selby cut, an August date oh. would be almost out of the question against Frampton. That's another tremendous right hand from Warrington, who is fighting like a man possessed. Huge intensity of performance from Josh Warrington. People said it's about levels. Now, he is told to back away. And he's seen told that he used the head. And now the referee is looking at the cut. And the right eye is cut as well. Selby is an absolute mess in there. If it's accidental, it would go to the cards. You don't need to stop that. Chris. No, that's nothing. Get down, boys, get down. A lot of protests coming from the corner. I said Michael Alexander could be a key man. He certainly is now. But he's saying the action goes on. The initial damage, he said, was done by an accidental headbutt. Second cut, is it accidental again? If it stopped on those cuts, it would go to cards, and on those cards, well, Warrington surely has to be ahead. If Selby wins this far, those shot there from Warrington. Big right hand. Warrington, by the way, is just about unmarked. And he is busting Selby up with massive headshots. He is bullying the Welshman around the ring. Tremendous effort from Warrington. All inspired in this from Warrington. He said he might need the fight of his life, John, and that's what he's doing. This is the best performance I've ever seen from, from Josh Warrington. At the first press oh, conference, shot. Selby said he would stop him. He said he would knock him out. He's moderated his language a little bit as it's got closer. Well, we talk all the time about prospects keeping their shape uh, and it, oh, so important it is and look at me one of them oh, kept his shape hands high punches down the center of the target every time smaller man Warrington and he's fighting compact and that is a huge round for Josh Warrington massive Come on. Come on, don't explain don't explain I don't know where 
that's nothing on his side, mate. I was there at the Emmy Arena in 2005 like when Ricky Hatton beat Costa Zhu. And he when you felt miss, the emotional and passionate you. support deep, 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 of that Manchester crowd. Deep, deep, deep. And it's Josh Warrington deep, doing deep, the same. Deep, deep. And Tony Ball telling, no. telling no. himself there, you've got to dig deeply. You've got to show something special. I think that's what he needs right now. got a fast one coming up. Come Here's some of the action, and there's the heads going in. Into the seventh round. Warrington on Barry's card is well ahead. Second half now of this IBF World Featherweight title fight, and what a fight we're seeing. Referee confirming that the right eye cut was not done deliberately, that it was an accidental head clash. If it stopped on those cuts, it goes to the cards, and as a technical decision, if the judges see it the same way that Barry's seeing it, there would be a new world featherweight champion, and that name would be Josh Warrington. If Shelby goes on to win this fight, you got Chris Sanager to, to thank, because... Chris Sanago, the, the doctor was there, I think the doctor was going to call a halt, and Chris Sanago intimidated everyone in the corner, the doctor and the referee, to keep Selby in the fight. Look at Selby on the receiving end again, but he's trying to bite on his gun shield, trying to dig in and trying to fight, trying to find that champion's resolve. Leeds will be an extraordinary party city tonight if Warrington can keep this going. Good Hit. party shot there from, from Selby, sorry John. Selby's regrouped well, he's done well in the first half of this round. Good body shot there, though, back from Josh Warrington. He's body moving well, Selby, isn't he, in this round? He's taken a lot of shots, Selby, and he's taking more now. How many more of these concussive headshots can he take? He is getting smacked around those damaged eyes again and again and again, and the blood is starting to flow once more. I think he's boxing quite well, you know, and, and nicking around, but then one of them comes back with that quality of work there. And, it's just, and you know, the, the shots are harder, Selby looks at not hurt, but ruffled. Good from Selby there, nice little fast three punch combination. Oh, a good jab there though from Warrington. The noise levels go up again. Good body shots from Selby, left hand. He's had a decent round here, the Welshman. He looks as though he's being just battered from pillar to post, but he's had some quality work in there as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, and I think, I think the best work of the, of the round came from Warrington. But probably Selby did enough to uh, drop the round to nick it, I think. Well, good round. And how hard Selby battled there. Showing that boxing ability that served him well through a pro career, which now is over ten years. But Leeds believe. A little bit of bruising under that left oh, eye, no more. He's going to look for big singles, and the big singles going to be uppercut or right hand. So we've got to make him throw it over his body, yeah? Yeah. All right. All right, come on, let's keep doing it. Let's keep the safe, Bob. Sean O'Hagan, his coach, who brought Josh up for much of his life, along with younger brothers, Marcus and Thomas. Sean says if Josh wins and if he makes enough money of it, one day he's going to open a restaurant. That's his ambition. <laughs> Apparently he's a good cook, as well as a good trainer. He just showed the combination, the replay there, that left hook to the body, left to the head, and a straight right hand is what's been working so well for for Josh Warren, and every time Selby gets remotely close. 
Good jab there from Warrington. Somebody trying to work to the body. He hasn't put a dent in Warrington at all with anything he's thrown. He's not put him in any sort of real trouble to me from what I've seen. Oh, he was only going to really hurt Warrington if he was dazzling with his skills and Warrington was missing and getting tired. That was the only option, really. He's not thinking he's a massive puncher. He has, he has come up with some curlers in his career. Have you, have you seen, obviously, the Stephen Smith fight? But that was a long, long time ago. Well, it would be a phenomenal win if Lee Selby were to pull this off now. That's how Barry's got it by... A couple of points to Josh Warrington. Selby may well have to pretty much take everything from here on in. I think four rounds to two is, is probably a fair assessment, to be honest. Good right hand there from Selby. Here we are in the eighth. For the One round you've scored level, and then that's a yeah, key yeah, point, right. isn't it? Those tight rounds, sometimes so important. But the rounds that Warrington's won have been big. And that doesn't make a difference on the scorecards, but it, your perception makes, makes, makes a big difference. And the, the crowd, the action, the reaction of the crowd, it shouldn't have an effect on the judges, but they're human beings. Yeah, and every time Warrington lands, throws something big, big there's the eruption of noise. It's the right hand there from Selby. Hasn't done much in this round yet, Warrington is better from him. Selby producing some better work in this eighth round. He's still very much in there. There's a nice right hand from the Welshman. Warrington's on to the front foot now. This is where he believed he would be the stronger, that his engine would serve him well down the stretch. And they're going now, you sense, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It could be pivotal moments now. Good work from Selby. Yeah, good left hook there to finish the combination there from Lee Selby, and again. Selby's had a better round in this eighth. Oh, good shot there from Warrington. Just doesn't give up, does he, Warrington, with the combinations? That's the difference. Oh, what a quality fight it is. Really dramatic, thrilling fight. Josh Warrington may be ahead, but did Lee Selby take that last round? I think round? so, Danny, busier throughout for me. Yeah, we're going to bring that spring in up in. Be patient, be clever. Wait until you throw that right hand, and that's when you bring it. So we're going to drop feints. All we can do is what we're doing. Keep dropping feints, you see, up until it. That's a lovely jab there from Warrington. And just skimming him with that right hand there. Did you see the commitment in his face? Just checked with our radio colleagues behind us. And Carl Frampton, who's uh, doubling up and doing a bit of commentary for them. He's got it, Josh Warrington wide. We're into the ninth round, that's coming up. Not wide on our card, Warrington by one. And Frank Warren, his promoter, was just in that corner, getting him to try and up his work rate. I sense that Frank, who's been around for an awful long time as a promoter, <laughs> he knows that this one is still in the melting pot. It is, I just think, a couple of the rounds, one of the, they haven't switched off, it's just been a little bit quiet trying to mount those clever attacks. But let Selby do, do the, the majority of the work for the rounds. Good right hand there from Selby. But the, the, in the early rounds, the tactics from from Warrington were just perfect. Four rounds to go. Selby getting the better of the early exchanges of this ninth. Good uppercut, lovely left hand from Selby. Better work from the Welshman. Warrington put a huge effort into those early rounds and his stamina now will be tested. Right hand thudded into the solar plexus under the ribs of Selby. Good work there from Warrington, though. When he gets in close, he's so happy to let his hands go. He's the smaller man, and he's getting advantage of fighting small. Keeping very compact. 
skimming, skimming Selby with her right hand. Selby's still very much in this one, though, here in the ninth round. Has he weathered the Warrington storm, and can he still turn this one around? Good right hand there from Warrington. Selby then his hands go with a little, little bit wide, the shots. And a great job on those cuts in the Welsh corner. Good body shot there from Lee Selby, then moving away. Nice left hook from Warrington as well. It's a gruelling fight, Barry. Yeah, it really is. Nice left hook in close. Wallen is staying nice and close elbows tucked in tight. Great exchange yeah. right around the head. And again, the shake of the head from Selby suggesting that it was illegal tactics from Josh Warrington. I can see Jamie Sanagar on the far side imploring the referee to do something about it. But Michael Alexander sees nothing wrong. Good work inside from Warrington. Yeah, he'd be much busier in this one, hasn't he, Warrington? Oh, good shot, oh, lovely. That's quality. Lovely body shot and that little combination there from Warrington. Finishing with the right to the head. Is there a greater snap about oh. the punches of Warrington? And the left hook there as well. Put his foot back on the accelerator there in the closing stages of round nine, and Barry gives that round to Josh Warrington. Guys, yeah. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna be tight. We're gonna be clever. We're about fucking three rounds away from a well tightly. We can't let him fucking sit and run shots in. Yeah. Hurtful we can't allow body him shot from Selby, well delivered. But Warrington so fit and working brilliantly inside. Oh, it's just. It the, the effort, the effort for Warrington and the tactics have been tremendous tonight. Really has. I didn't think he'd be able to both box Selby in stages, and I never thought that could happen. You know. Selby has three rounds left to, as we see it, turn it around because Barry's got Warrington by two points, and we're into the tenth. Selby needs big rounds. And, and that's been the difference. The rounds that Warrington's won have been very big. Some of those early rounds he won were huge. This is where Warrington, I suspect, might be onto the front foot and might be looking to get into the chest of Selby and start to bully him around. Good shot. Beautiful jab there from Chuck. Inspired performance in his job. Selby, the man with the renowned jabbing skill, comprehensively jabbed in that exchange. Needs to find those flurries now, Lee Selby, and, and find those angles, spinning off that front foot, go again when he's on the side of, of Warrington. He's not really found the much vaunted combinations that he's prospered on. No, that's because Warrington's been sitting back quite intelligently. Oh, lovely right hand there from Warrington. Sitting back quite intelligently and then charging forward behind the punches. So he's been rushing in, but intelligently, that's good work. It's good from Selby. Educated pressure from Warrington. It's been that way throughout. Good body shots. Yeah, both landing with body shots. Coming down to the time when it's will and desire. And Warrington has had that absolutely in spades right the way through the night. Well, everyone talked about how the crow react when it's spurred him on, when he's you know, he suffocated under the pressure. It seems it rose the occasion. But listen, it's still, it's, it's, it's still in the fight. When you've got, when you got pretty, the, the skill that he has, the, you know, that. that Erraticness. Oh, good right hand there from Warrington. One of the old truisms of boxing, isn't it? It only oh. takes one, but there's a great right hand from Warrington. Kept that 
that high defence so effectively, Josh Warrington. It's like five punches, an answer there from Josh Warrington. He said he was ready to produce the performance of his life, and on the basis of what I've seen, I've seen most of Josh Warrington's fights oh. through the long career, this has been the performance of his it life. It has been a lovely little long right uppercut there from Selby. Oh, look at that right hand back there from Warrington. Fantastic stuff. Oh, what a great round again. Both of them had their successes. Two big right hands from Warrington, who gives Selby an old-fashioned look as he goes back to his corner, knowing that he maybe has added yet another round to his tally. And Selby now, now be in the position where he needs a knockout to win it. For me, on my card, he does, Johnny needs a couple of knockdowns on a knockout. What desire. Big shots. Selby battling for all he's worth. A moment of success for him. And I just checked with Carl Frampton sitting behind us, and he thinks, as you do, that this is now Warrington's and he's heading for victory. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like Warrington's got it's all in his hands now, Josh Warrington. Just got to keep that composure and discipline that he's had. And he might be walking out of here, champion of the world. Selby knows it as well, John, because he's come out like a train. Well, he's got to stop him. I think he's got to, I think he's got to put Warrington away if he wins this fight. Absolutely no doubt he's got to win the last two rounds. Well, he needs knockdowns at least. Warrington has not been moved, really, by anything that Selby's thrown so far. He's going to be going to have those eyes stitched to maybe have plastic surgery oh. after this, Selby. But he's really come out in this round. Yeah, we just, just planted a little right hand there on Warrington's chip on jaw. Of course, Warrington never blinked. Good first minute from Lee Selby. Oh, shot from, well, from Warrington. Selby has to show that he is very much the fighter now. Boxing has not been enough. Now it's down to fighting and about brawling. He needs to put Warrington out. He needs to get a bit of space on it. Trying to, trying to maul, get too close to the tags, no good for him. Now the binding has come loose around the glove of Josh Warrington. Chris Sanigar urging Lee Selby to go forward, to be the boss in this round, and he he does precisely that and lands a body shot, but now oh. he's on the receiving end as Warrington's into his face, literally. Oh, fantastic jab there from Warrington, and a right hand over the top. This is Warrington jab, well. His shape and composure and all these things that we, that we ran down about in the past has kept us so well tonight. Well, Chris Sanagar was saying before this fight, Leeds has never had a world champion. I've had three out of my gym. <laughs> as much as to say it's all about levels and my man is on a different plateau to yours. Could still turn around, but if that judge's verdict goes that way, if it goes the distance, it's a different fight to the one we've seen. It is. Oh, good to get from Warrington. A little bit of taunting there to Selby from Warrington. He's bossing that exchange. Finished the wrong strong here, Warrington. The good start from Selby, but he's finished it a stronger. Extraordinarily fit man, isn't he? Fights with a tremendous intensity.
Warrington, I'm sure, will pay tribute to the crowd. Oh, oh. good shot from Warrington, right on the bell, great right hand. And now, trust me, the whole of Leeds believes that Warrington is poised to be the new world champion. Yes, I think I think for me, no, I think I think I just Nick wanted in that round. He just finished the stronger, close, very close round though. But for me, Selby needs to stop this, needs to knock out now. I stuck my neck out and said that I thought that Josh Warrington could take this fight, that he could be the new champion, but I thought it would be so close. Like so often in this fight, it's a good start for the round for Selby, but Warren just pushing forward, coming on, hit him with the cleaner, maybe the cleaner, heavier shots. Come, Shell! So much bad words, a lot of bad blood between these fighters in the run-up to this. Warrington salutes the fans and the two touch gloves. Oh, well, how much respect was there there? Not a lot, I don't think. Three minutes remaining. Selby in no mood to say well done, likewise Warrington, and they are going to go for it, tooth and nail. Oh. Great right hand from Warrington. Oh, good right hand there from Selby as well. Well, whatever happens, so far as the cards are concerned and the verdict's concerned, Selby's shown that he's a lot more than just a fancy Dan. From the very early stages, he's fought under the handicap of those two awful cuts. But Warrington has raised his game and has been superb. Well, what's, what's happened is, Selby, you know, once Selby gets to the rhythm, that's it, this game over for any, almost anybody fights. But Warrington didn't allow that from, from, from the get-go. Oh, oh fantastic. Great shots. Warrington, did he catch Selby around the back of the head? Selby certainly thought so, but he takes two big shots and the referee says, no, he didn't. Well, I think he did catch him on the back of the head with one of the shots. But you know, he's moving his head all the time, Selby, and, and one is just ringing away. I don't think it's anything intentional. There's another one, you see, similar, yeah. similar sort of shot. No protest from Selby this time. I think he's given up on that one because the referee's <laughs> just saying, no way. A wall of noise is now cascading out of the stands and across the pitch here at Elland Road. They've waited an awful long time for this. Great right hand from Warrington. Oh, good right hand there as well. Selby trying to find something, even now, to sway this one back in his direction. Josh Warrington decried by many experts and certainly many armchair pundits as being a domestic level fighter. He's shown himself to be very, very much more than that. Oh, good, good, shot shot. From... good shot from Selby there. There's a solid left hand. Another, another even run again. I mean, it's real hard to score. Both just trying so hard to get the big finish. Into the last 10 seconds. Who's going to be on the shield at the end? The two of them go toe to toe. Tremendous fight. And Josh Warrington raises his arms a lot. And I think Lee Selby knows it. He's moaning, I think, about the cuts and about the use of the head. But Selby goes back to his corner, knowing that on the night. He has been outgamed, and that the strategy of the Warrington camp has been spot on. And surely, surely, Josh Warrington's arm is about to be raised as the new IBF featherweight champion of the world. Yeah, without a doubt, John, it really is. No, I think he, he boxed tremendously well, kept his shape. And if we cut a close round, I'd, I'd probably get the salve, could have gone the other way. Like that last round there was a very close round, I thought.
but there's only one winner. The most important part is it's, it's clearly only one winner in this fight for me, and that is definitely Josh Wallenden. Well, I've got it Warrington by five. Yeah, I've got, I got it a little bit closer. It's, uh, it's, it's that sort of fight, but I, I, think, I think that he's surely done enough, and I think oh, well, the Salvi can't know it. There's handshakes all round. Sean O'Hagan, I wonder what's going through his mind now. Josh Warrington's father being congratulated by a smiling Frank Warren. So many people up there in the ring. Selby gave it everything. He was so brave, but his boxing skills were taken away from him. And Josh Warrington on the ropes, right in front of us, beats his chest. Yeah, he did show heart, didn't he? Huge. Everyone was saying you got to, you got to have the performance of his career, the fight of his life, and he and he did, and he did it. He, he absolutely did. He boxed tremendously well, and he didn't just go all out like a lunatic and just show the will and and the and the and the fire to want to beat someone up. He was intelligent in his work, especially in the early rounds, sitting back on that back foot, not allowing the lead to, to establish a jab, and then just fighting forward and in bursts of combinations. And, and Lee was confused with what was going on. Lee couldn't get no rhythm in it with the jab, couldn't establish the jab, get no rhythm with his work. And I think that sort of paved the, the pattern of the fight. And then Lee had a, a, a fight back in a few of those rounds. But the difference is the rounds that, that Warrington, that Selby won, were close rounds. The rounds that Warrington won were very, very big rounds. He won him, he won him con quite conclusively. And that's, I think, the difference is. And that's why Warrington, for me, is, is the new champion of the world. Always an anxious moment for the fighters, even though everybody is saying, but everybody, that Warrington has won it. But the celebrations have not quite started yet. They're on hold. But I think now that Thomas Triver has the result up there, and I think we can go into the ring and find out now who has won this one have we got a new world champion we can find out now and go into the ring the fighters are together with the referee let's find out ladies and gentlemen after 12 rounds of boxing we go to the judges scorecards and we have a split decision Judge Alan Davis scores it 115 to 113 in favor of Lee Selby. Judge Phil Edwards scores it 116 to 112 in favor of Josh Warrington. And Judge Frank Lombardi scores it 115 to 113 in favor of your winner and new IBL featherweight champion of the world, Josh the Leeds Warrior, Warrington. Tears of joy from Josh Warrington in the ring. Delirious reaction from the crowd. That was a split decision. I find it difficult to understand. Phil Edwards' card was closest to how Barry saw it. I think it pretty much was spot on with how Barry had it, 116, 112. One judge having it, 115, 113 for Lee Selby. But I think, for me, that has to be the right verdict. And fairy tales in Leeds do come true. Josh Warrington, the champion. What about that, Barry? Well, John, we were all saying all week, we have given our and honest assessment that we all thought that there was only going to be one winner, Selby. and that was Lee Selby. But Warrington, you know, Warrington stole his thunder. I think his tactics were spot on. Didn't allow Selby the, what he needs the most, what the, the rhythm to get established that jab and get the, those combinations together. He took that away from Selby earlier on, and then Selby was playing catch up. I think then he had to rush his work a little bit. And, and obviously I had to tough it out, I and mean, then tough it out with a, with a guy who's known to be a tough guy anyway. 
But what a fantastic fight, let's not forget that. Oh, great fight. A really and, good fight. And a was. tremendous performance from Lee Selby. And what, what we want to see again. Remember, he's got to give Selby's credit. He boxed with a, with, a, with a nasty cut in his eye from really early in the fight. And, and, and still went on with it. Still, still was competitive in every round. But listen, tonight, whatever it is, tonight was a fantastic fight. It's all about Josh Warrington. A return, maybe, because it was such a good fight, who knows? But I think Cal Frampton's going to want to fight, fight, fight Josh Warrington, no, that's for sure.